Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. This is your fortnightly reading, a general reading. So it may or may not resonate. It's for the second half of May, May the 16th through to the end of May. So we'll see what we have for you, Virgo. If you'd like to skip the shift, the shuffling, the shuffling or the intro, then there will be a timestamp in the description box below. But let's get on with it and see what's going on for you guys with the energies around Virgo. What is happening for you? Oh, of course, everything falls out. We don't really want that, Virgo. We have the King of Pentacles, nice, as the situation. So looking at some stability and some finances, wealth. Okay, let's get this happening for you, Virgo. Okay, crossed by the Two of Swords, Seven of Cups, the Fool. Ooh, the devil in the recent past. Oh, the star in the near future. Gosh. Okay, it's a turnaround. The four of wands. The high priestess. You've got a few major arcana happening here, Virgo. The knight of swords. And we have the five of swords as the outcome. Yeah, okay. And at the bottom of the... At the bottom of the deck, we have the six of pentacles. So I have... Balance coming in on a financial level for you guys, which is good. And balance coming into a relationship in terms of giving and receiving. And so for the Five of Swords, I just wanted to get a clarifier, which was the Queen of Pentacles, beautiful Capricorn card. I think you're going to bring some things into balance, but what it's going to do is it, it might cause a little bit of conflict with the person that was used to getting things a bit more their way. So we'll, we shall see. Oh, the devil just perked out again. So that obviously seems to be an important energy. I was trying to get a clarifier just for that seven of cups and then I think we'll get started, Virgo. That was the strength card. The few cards are just kind of popping out, major arcanas all over the shop. And the two of swords again. So, yeah, there's quite a few... Um, Definite themes happening coming through for you. So I'm just going to pull one card. I just want a definite card to come out for the Seven of Cups. There's a few. It's interesting because Seven of Cups is all about various possibilities and lots of options. And, of course, all these cards are like, pick me, pick me, which is kind of the meaning of that card. Ah, so we have the moon has decided to pop out. Oh, and the Two of Swords, just to be tricky with us Virgo it just really wanted to come out that two of swords okay awesome let's get started okay the situation here we have the king of pentacles and crossed by the two of swords so you're looking at this could be a, around a relationship with a Taurus but it could for mostly I think it's you looking at how to secure your future really how to create security with it for your future and, but it's crossed by the Two of Swords, which means that this is actually probably going to impact on somebody else and what you're looking and thinking at. It could cause a potential conflict with a partner or a partnership and you're not wanting to necessarily. There's an avoidance of raising a topic with somebody here to do with a long-term partnership, to do with the finances. On a, We're looking like long-term here, a long-term pro projection of what's happening financially. And so it's like wanting to feel like you're in control of your physical reality, of your world, of your of your career of your money and your house and home it's yeah but for some reason that conversation there's a block with having that conversation with somebody so in the recent past we have the devil card the devil raises its head and so this is related to feeling stuck as well could be related to financial debt when we're talking about money here, it seems to be a lot to do with security and money and stability coming in. And 
you know, just making a status quo. It's really like, okay, I need to start planning for this. And so it's kind of looking at the devil energies, kind of looked at where things might have been imbalanced within a relationship, a toxic imbalance perhaps in relation to money uh, in particular because that seems to be a very strong theme that's coming through for you guys, Virgo. So, yeah, very much um, looking and analysing at relationships with money. The ver the devil card is could be codependence as well. It can also just be uh, an addiction of some sort that has been, you know, funneling money out that doesn't necessarily mean needs to be you Virgo it can just be that that's been something that's raised its head so on the surface it looks like there's lots of different options here in terms of you know how you're going to create this in your life we have the seven of cups lots of possibilities some of them are illusionary some of them are good some of them are not some of them don't even exist but they might just exist in your head so that's creating a bit of confusion here with this moon energy it's like okay which way should i go which is the best way is very much mulling through these possibilities and again we have that two of swords which is you know there, there could have been um a bit of conflict around this it could be some you know, for some of you, it could be you, you're having words with people about it, some disagreements. But it's like it's whirling, all these possibilities are whirling and options are whirling around your head and it's like you just don't want to look at any of them because it's too much and you do know that somehow by ta going down and choosing one of these it is going to cause conflict. And so by the lack of indecision, there's a real indecisive energy with this, the indecision is causing a lot of confusion. So there is this energy of feeling stuck, of feeling undecided, not knowing what to be doing, and that's kind of fed from this devil energy that has come up, raised its head recently. At the base of the issue, though, this may be energy that you may or may know about, not know about. Could be subconscious, could be your soul uh, energy that's coming through. It could just you could know about it. it. Could just be something that's like the main motivator at the the base of this issue. We have the fool. So it's starting from zero. It's starting again. It's starting right from the very beginning. It's like not even going down those path of possibility. It's very much like a reset here in terms of your finances and where things are starting. So it's, yeah, it could be for some of you starting over again in terms of career or uh, a new job. It could be new ways of making money. It could be a new stability in a relationship, there's definitely fresh new energy and there's a sense of lightening the load here, of not taking on that burden, that indecision could be created and that feeling sense of there's a potential conflict by addressing this issue. It's created a bit of a burden, some energy, a bit. you are feeling a bit stagnant, stuck, maybe it's a toxic energy around, I don't know, whatever that is, but this fool is like totally free, travels lightly, doesn't doesn't take those issues with him. Um, so you're wanting to free yourself of all the binds and the conflicts and the agendas around your money and, and who it relates to. You want to start anew and fresh and step into this whole new opportunity. So it is taking a risk, but it's, and you're not necessarily, the interesting thing with the fool is it's not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily know where he's going. It's a leap of faith. Uh but there is this sense that you do have at the heart of it this idea that what you want is security. So ooh, interesting energy. Now, in the near future, you have the star card, which is wishes coming true. So if this is what you're putting out there, Virgo, it's very likely you're going to get what it is that you want, a resolution to this. You are going to find the answers and be very strongly divinely guided. It's interesting here, you know, there's all these stars around the star card, but one, you know, we had all the options in the seven of cups and there's actually seven stars around the star around this figure here, but there's one really big new option emerges and becomes dominant and obvious. And so you'll be very strongly guided to this. So I feel like because it hasn't, 
it's probably not in your immediate vicinity right now. It's coming in the, this option, this direction for you in the near future. Um, so this is something to look out for. And so your the prayers will be answered pretty much when it comes to finances and asking for how to bring the direction. And so flow will come back in with the star card. Replenishment, there will be a sense of hope again, hope and renewal. So it's bringing hope back, which is great because it could have been lost and confused in this energy here, which is quite a, a more of a denser, heavy energy. So again, these two energies the star and the full card are very light energies and that this is all very heavy energy and it's all moving and shifting to a much lighter, higher vibrational energy. You in the situation is the four of wands and that's again a very similar card to that um, king of pentacles. It's all about building solid foundation stability, particularly in the home, particularly in a relationship or a partnership here. And this could definitely be to do with work. It's This is like the happy marriage card as well, the, the four of wands, but it's building some very strong foundations and stability. So that's definitely what seems to be what the issue that has come to mind is building that security. So the energy surrounding you is the high priestess, so very highly intuitive energy, but there's also uh, synchronicities that, and luck, you could get some very lucky energy around. So with the star card and the high priestess, you're very highly likely. It's time, you know, you could buy a lottery ticket. You know, it's that sort of those two cards together could actually be very, there's a lot of, and with that six of pentacles coming in, there could be money coming to you, some sort of lucky break or a small sum of money. So, but there's definitely something that is leading you divinely. So I think just some, yeah, synchronicities and, yeah, there's something good coming. There's something like a surprise, but it's kind of got that lucky feel to it, like you didn't really have to do much. It's kind of just like on the right frequency and it's come to you. Uh, we have, as your hopes and fears, the Knight of Swords, you're kind of really determined to make to turn this around, to make this happen Virgo. So I feel like, you know, it, this Knight of Swords energy is charging forward and nobody's going to get in its way, no matter how many people try and doubt you or convince you other, otherwise or um, try and tell you to do something different. You're just like, no, I've got, I know my direction. I know how to do this. I know what I want to do. And so moving forward. So interestingly, again, as the outcome here, Virgo, we have the Five of Swords, which is the conflict that you were trying to avoid in those Two of Swords. Out it comes, but it needed to be addressed. It really did need to be addressed. So it's okay because it leads to, it's accompanied by the Queen of Pentacles, which is now you're in a position to be able to nurture and move forward and nurture those decisions about building that wealth and security into your life. So, yeah, it did get addressed. And so it's no, don't be afraid about this coming out. It might be a disagreement, a difference of opinion. It could be whatever it is, it's, it does need to come out and it will have a positive outcome because, yeah, moving straight to that Queen of Pentacles energy, which is a lovely Capricorn earthy energy as well. And, you know, the Queen of Pentacles has a very discerning eye. She knows what she wants. She's very sensual as well. And she st sits in her own power. So it's very much, um, you know, she's holding the fruits. She's holding, she has everything that she needs and wants. So she makes good decisions around money and security. So, yeah, I think you're moving to a really, really positive space when it comes to that, Virgo. So I hope that makes sense. I feel like they're. <laughs> Some of you could be like winning or getting some sort of lucky break, small sums of money coming to you. But I, even if that that may come, but there's a bigger, that's a smaller part of the picture, which will be most welcome, of course. But a bigger part of the picture is you're moving into this um, area of solidity. You're moving towards that security and making, getting into a position to make some really good decisions about that. So I hope that makes sense, Virgo. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. And take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.